Section 2.1. This is our third day on Section 2.1. Are you ready to be done with this? Me too. We have one last example. Um, our example is a change of base problem. And we were looking at this slide, and this is where we got to. Is that like okay for everybody? Okay. All right, so we actually wrote out all the numbers that we're going to divide by. We're just going to do the division process and, and finish that out. All right, so taking a look at 99,999, how many times will the 59,049 go into that? Yeah, just once, right? It's, it's a pretty, pretty close uh, value, actually. Um, and then I will multiply 1 times that to get that 59,049. And if I subtract, what do I have? Now, as a reminder for last time, we're just going straight down this list of powers of 9. So we started with the highest one, and we don't skip any. Even if it doesn't go in, we don't skip them, all right? They need to be represented in division scaffolding. So the next one is 65, 61. Okay, so grab a calculator for me. That should go in quite a few times. Six times, all right. And Taylor, what's six times the 65, 61? Okay, so what happens, when, or what do we get when we subtract that? Okay, excellent. Um, what's the next value I'm going to divide by? 729, thank you, Audrey. All right, so if I divide by 729, then how many times will 729 go to 1584? You probably should be able to see that one twice, yeah. All right, so what's 2 times 729? Excellent. And then we're going to subtract 1584 minus 1458. 146. 126. Okay. Uh, so then we're going to divide by 81. 81 will go in just once. 81. And uh, what's 126 minus 81? 45? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll divide by 9. And 9 actually goes with 45 evenly. It gives me 5. Now it's very tempting when we do this multiplication to think we're done because we don't have any remainder left. But we're not done. We will always finish out the division with division by 1, whether there's a remainder or not. It just doesn't go in any time, so it gives us that last value of zero. Okay? There are zero singles left. All right, like the single crown, single crown. There just aren't any left over. There are zero backs of those, or zero leftovers. All right, so again, like the told you, the beautiful thing about this one is that the solution then is everything on the right. So it's 162150. And then what do I have to do? I need to put the subscript 9, the word 9 next to it, to indicate that that is a number from base 9. What if I had done this and my answer had a 9 in it? It could be wrong, right? It could be wrong. Why would it be wrong, Taylor? Right. So if you end up getting an answer, like, I can't guarantee when you get the answer that it doesn't have any 9s, it's right. But I can guarantee that if the answer had 9s in it, when you got done, it would be wrong. Because I should only be getting values that are between 0 and 8 because it's in base 9. So keep in mind as you're looking at the answer that does it seem reasonable? Question is a good thing to ask yourself. Any questions on this process again? Okay, one more thing to remember then. There's two ways to change the numbers. We change the numbers from multiplication, or I'm sorry, we change the numbers with multiplication or with division, right? One of the methods goes from our base system into a base whatever else. The other one goes from uh, the other bases into ours. When you take it from base 7 into our base, which of the operations do you use? <coughs> that is multiplication. And when you take it from our base into base 7, that is division. So that might be one of those things as you're working through this that you put on a note card at some point so that you don't forget which process, which direction you go. All right. For those of you who need it, those are the homework problems. We're going to write those down.